actually right behind the bead, just like about three turns. Oh, where's my top to this? Disappeared? Anyone see it? Just no, I don't know if it ever got over here because I. Oh, it here it is. Here it is. Yeah. You want to use some uh, super glue right here, Paul? Okay. You can also pull it out and use the brush. Um, if you want to. Yeah, I I am definitely going to. So um, so um, to help push the tungsten bead up against the eye, I I put about three or four wraps of. I don't know, it's maybe 20 thousandths, might be 15, it doesn't really matter. Just some lead to shove it up against, up against there. And um, so I'm going to put a little tiny bit of super glue on it, uh, and then I'm going to wrap thread over it. Hobby Lobby, $3.99 for that super glue, by the way. Good price. And don't breathe it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It'll, really, it'll wake you up. Okay, so then I'm going to get my thread started right behind it. Use a six odd or this is six odd red uh, uni. I'm watching it from okay. the And um, super glue doesn't always do a really good job of binding to metal and smooth smooth metals, but if you put some thread in there, um, you you can get a good a good bond to it. So when that all sets up, it'll be really firm up against the eye. So I'm just going to move my thread back to about there. And um, I use I use pheasant tail just because it's a, a nice stiff um, feather. You could use hackle. It, it's not going to be just really, really crucial that it has to be one or the other. But um, Teeny makes some really vibrant colors on their pheasant tail. And I'll use this now as a tail and I'll use it also as a wing. And again, the only purpose is to keep gear guys off my back for using the not for using a bear hook. I mean that is that is really the the whole thing. So I'll just tie on a, kind of a short tail back here and wind some of the material up just to build up a little base of the body there <clears throat> because I am going to tie in my wire and I also I also don't want to have too much stuff on there because. I want the fly to sink fast. So is that like a medium or a large red wire? This is medium and it's only because I don't have large and I haven't been able to get large. But I would rather use large. And uh, What do you cut that with so it doesn't dull your prized scissors? I, you, you got a junk scissors you I use usually, don't cut just, it. I usually cut it with helicopter. my... Uh, I usually cut it with my my good wire, my my good scissors. Um, he cuts it. <laughs> you, do. But you, don't, you don't do. They're not good scissors anymore. I got it. There you go. But what I do is I cut it. So I don't cut it with the tips. I cut it with yeah. my thicker part back yeah. there. Then I mean. It, so I'm just gonna tie this in. Bind it down really good. Now I don't want to go too far up with my with my wire because I want to put in a nice thick um, thorax mm -hmm. with this ice stub. And I, I think probably the ice stub is the most important thing on this fly. Just because it's uh, the fact that it's metallic and it really has some shine to it. What about the razor sharp point on it for snagging? Yeah. That's probably the most What hook are you part. using on that? This is a Daiichi 2450, I believe. Is that like a bass stinger hook? No, it's not. It's just, this looks a little bit like the 3406 Mustad hook. This is the hook right here. 2450? 2450. Yeah. I, I like it for a couple of reasons. One is it's a ring eye. I, I kind of really like ring Sorry. eye. It's also, <laughs> if you look at the... If you look at the the wire that 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 hook is made with, it is really stout. I mean, it, this is a this is a, a beefy hook, and if you if you hook a thirty pound king in that river, this thing is not going to straighten out. It looks almost exactly like a must add thirty four oak six, except it has a better point. And it, and it has a really nice long point, so which is good for catching fish, but it dulls quickly, uh, hitting the rocks and stuff. So um, I, 
I have ordered a, some size six uh, 60 degree jig hooks and and I've got some some red metallic slotted beads mm -hmm. and so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to, to design a fly so the hook rides up instead of this one it rides down and so as the hook is you know if it does get down to the bottom and it's hitting the, the uh, sand and this and the pea gravel I, I I'm tr the idea is to keep it from dulling the hook um, I, I want to keep it from dulling the hook as it's doing that and yeah well is it is it too hard to sharpen them or just I'm lazy <laughs> So not too hard with a if you get a lure Jensen hook file, the original lure Jensen, which are still available on eBay, they're hard to find actually. But it's a file, and you go on two angles minimum, two to three angles or sides of the point going up. So you the don't other thing yourself. is, is um, I was having to sharpen that hook so often, pretty soon I don't have a hook left. You wear it out, you'll wear the point out if you sharpen it. You get about two sharpenings out of it. And then it'll be so yeah. short that it doesn't work anymore. Uh, really? Yeah. But that, so those files are pretty aggressive. Take 20, they take it off. 20 so you got to be a little careful. Then. Yeah, because all other the files are not hard enough steel. They don't work. They just probably only need one or two passes with that file. Yeah. And that's yeah. all. No that's more. it. Yeah. So I'm going to make a, a dubbing loop here. <clears throat> Stop moving. I've got a dubbing twister there if you want to use that too. Um, yeah, it's a little fancier than mine. But, uh, or whatever you looks got. good. Well, I don't mind back there. Somewhere. That was a Wasatch tool. It looked Here, somebody, it was pretty. One of these guys told me about this thing. Yeah, those well, are good. I, we you probably we, heard that from me or Al. Yeah. Or me. I, I don't have that exact one, but I have some like that. Those are great. I bought that, so I got a hold of him. I didn't get to Albany, but he was going to be at Albany, and then, I don't know, he sent it from there. So, Linda, are you excited about going up to Alaska? Oh, I can hardly stand it, yeah. yeah that's good. My I, husband, I like he's it. the one then that is like, oh, Dolly Gardens, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, here, here's Dave's excitement, yay. <laughs> I can't wait. Oh, boy. <laughs> is that not the truth, Linda? Is that not the truth? Yay. Here's a yeah, I, it was just a me yeah. going. And, so, uh, what's the name of that stuff? This is Ice Dub, ice and this dub. is a dubbing loop, and I'm going to... Um, Don't they make Ice Dub that's already on a strand for like steelhead flies that you just wrap on there? I like that deer. Pretty sure they do. Because they? Yeah, they have a bunch of those. Okay, so I'm going to just... I think it's called Ice Flash or something like that. I'm going to build up a thorax here. Yeah. How do you present this fly? Steelhead swing. Yep. So you make a cast, make a little bit of a mend, straighten it out, and let it swing, right? Yeah, or if you don't want to mend. Yeah. It's all one current. Yeah, it's one all current. Okay. fairly slow. I mean, and there's, there really isn't, it's not technical water at all. How deep is it, Paul? Two to three feet. Oh, gosh, you don't have to do hardly no. anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you fish that with a dry line then? Uh, sink tip. And what are you using tip? these for? Sockeye or Chinook? Um, I have Fish. tied a pink one and, and Nookies like the pink one, but I'm using this for sockeye and I have gotten um, dollies on it as well. This is for fish? This is for sockeye. Oh, I thought it was for fish. <laughs> yes, medium size to large. So <laughs> you're using size. the same tail material as yep. a wing or are you just going to... Just a you little wing, far, yeah. Just you're fishing for bear. Just a little. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think it matters if you have a wing on there or not? I know it doesn't matter. <laughs> so yeah. can I go this this wing and Just the tail one less is for the the gear guys. <laughs> it's for the gear. Guys. It's for the gear guys. <laughs> and I, I, you know, if nobody if nobody looked at what I'm using up there, I would be thro probably throwing it with a, a bear hook. Seriously. I remember Matt last year, he tied, he was using two beads on it just to get it down quickly. Now, is that a grizzly bear hook or is that a... It's a grizzly sow hook. So, yeah, see, and, and then... You had to specify what hook it is. And then, so do you wear dinner bells when you go up there? <laughs> 
No. Well, that's that's why you. <laughs> well, on we, your shoes. We yeah. <laughs> your shoes, yeah. We do put bacon in people's pockets. They give us a bad time though. Uh, okay, you do. No. So it's it's not it's not a necklace anymore. No. <laughs> it's too subtle. It, it's it, it's so not if, subtle enough. If you enough. around your neck, they'll play with you. Dude. Yeah. You won't be lonely. Yeah. Really. <laughs> anyway, it's it's not pretty. It doesn't have to be. Yeah, it, it keeps it keeps the um, the gear guys off my back. It's really it's actually really a fly, and it's pretty indestructible, which is really good because mm -hmm. I mean the last thing you want to be doing is tying a whole bunch of flies for, you know, yeah, to, to, because they they don't they they don't hold together, and and this thing, I mean, what's not bomb proof on there, right? No, it's not going to fall apart. And with the dubbing loop. Um, this this red thorax stuff, the, the ice dub. I mean, even if it gets ratted up, a big it, big deal. It's better. You know, that, that water's yeah. very clear. That you're normally Gin fishing. clear, shallow. So you, you can see the fish. You can see the fish. I love it. And I tell people all the time, don't go in past your knees, or you're just going to move the fish away from you. And what do they do? They just <laughs> Slosh on out there, and isn't that the truth? The fish are bumping into you practically. You, you, how, how wide is the river? It's a small there? river. It's less than where we're casting is less than from here to the front door, and that's after you wade a third of it out. You're, you're wading a third of the river just to get to Shindy. In July, it's yeah. anywhere from probably 60 to 200 CFS would be the upper end. 200 yeah. CFS cubic feet per second. I, I fished really it small. 75. Yeah, we fished it at 70. So it's like it's the a, crooked in early April. It, it's yeah. tiny, but it's all sand and pea gravel. There's no rocks. There's no <laughs> wood. Pretty much lots of wood. Yeah, Big wood. wood. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's. You'll see it. Though. But in the hole we fish, it's the only snag that I found was there was a stick and it was real flexible, and I kept hooking that stupid stick. <laughs> And if the tide was right, I could wade out and kick it off with my foot. But if the tide was coming in a little bit, I, it was too deep. But it's just a fairly clean bottom, except for the moss. It'll drive you crazy if you get down too far. That, that stick, is that what they call a fly magnet? Yeah. <laughs> for me, I find cool. all the snacks. Got it. Uh. And, and I have three packages of these. and you took a picture of it. So... Okay. You, you guys can take those with you if you want. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the super glue, you said like when you put it on there, it doesn't dry until you put the wrap on it? No, I, I just put the wraps on it to help cement it together. Yeah, well, super glue dries at the lack of oxygen. Right. <laughs> so when you put the wraps on it, that's when it'll dry. Hmm. Oh. So yeah, it does, it does have, have a tendency to be... Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, if you just put super glue out in the air, for a long time. it takes a long time to dry. But yeah. the minute, like if you get it on your fingers, yeah. you just go like this and you'll have Chinese handcuffs. Yeah, and the thing <laughs> and is, you go is like this. When, you, when you do it like this, nothing happens. Yeah. It doesn't even start to dry, but as soon as you do that, it dries. Put it together, yeah. And then you can't get it apart. Yeah. But it, um, like, like for example, um, 3406 must I, I super glue the torque out of my, my co flies eyes. He doesn't have it. And all you have to do is is when it's all set, you know, like two days later, just give it a quick twist and it busts it loose. Yeah. Yeah. So it 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 doesn't seem to bond real good to hard 